of the Nelson Fire Department and this year they're celebrating the 100th anniversary. Hi Simon. How you doing there? I'm doing fine. Good. Are you enjoying your 100th year anniversary birthday party? Yes, I'm really enjoying it and I, I guess you're going to take us on a little tour. Well, I, I'd like to show you a few of the things that were uh, put into this fire station on uh, when they moved in back in 1913. Fantastic. Okay, let's go off and have a look. Okay, well follow me. I'll show you. Okay, Simon, so what is this you're going to show us here? Okay, well, uh, back in 1913, uh, the old fire station, before they moved into this one, had a what's called a striker gong system. A striker gong? A striker gong. And the, uh, what that was was these alarm boxes, there was 10 of them that was located throughout the city. So part of the uh, improvements that they made when they moved into this fire hall is they built and installed this brand new striker gong system. And they installed along with this system, 10 more, uh, 30 more boxes. So in oh. total there was 40 of these boxes located throughout the city. And that's where the terminology comes from, the size of a fire that comes in, that's reported. So sometimes when you hear on the news, you have a one alarm fire, or a two alarm fire, or a three alarm. That was because it depended on how many of these box alarms were turned in that actually signified what size of a fire it was. So that would designate how serious the yeah, fire right. was. right. So the bigger the fire, more of these boxes would be pulled because more people would see them, right? I see. Would see the fire. So, but what happened, what would happen is, if somebody spotted a fire, they would come down here, cover your ears, they would come down here and they would pull this switch like this. Here. So is that like a gong for a campfire, the little one? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so if this box was number 56, yes. this bell here would activate five times, then a space, then six times, and at the same time, this ticker tape here. What is this called? This ticker tape would actually ticker tape, okay. would punch holes. Uh, five holes, then the space, and then another six holes, then a bigger space, and it would do that three times. So this gong would be going off. Yes. This ticker tape would be going off. Right. All the lights in the fire hall turned on. Wow. And the front bay doors would open up because they were on electric magnetic switches. And the horse harnesses, the gates for the horses would be released, and the horses would move in underneath their uh, harnesses. Wow, what a system! Yeah, it was uh, quite technical and uh, very advanced. It was the most uh, technically advanced fire station between Calgary and Vancouver in 1913. Is that right, eh? Yeah. Is it true that you guys don't use horses anymore? You actually have trucks now? No, we, uh, we actually, funny you ask, this picture here, right up here? Yes. That was the very first fire car the city of Nelson bought. Really? That's an actual photograph, eh? Yes, that's uh, Chief Donald Guthrie. Wow. And he bought that, where he ordered that fire truck the year they moved into this fire station. That fire truck cost $8,400. Two new horses and a new horse wagon would have cost $6,400. Holy mackerel. So city council approved them purchasing this fire car because it was going to save $700 a year on horse feet. That's oh. why they bought the car. But little did they know that this car could not get around in the wintertime. So they got rid of the horse for economical no. reasons. That's right. Oh. So for 10 years, the horses worked in the wintertime and this car worked during the summer when it could get around. But as soon as the snow started falling, it was pretty well useless because it couldn't get it, make a way around. There was no snow plows back then. Boy, that's very interesting history, Simon. That's great. Yeah. This is, this is, of course, a wagon here. This is the wagon also from the same fire hall? Yes, that's right. No, no, this was originally from the, I mean, it did work out of here, but this was originally stationed at the Josephine Victoria Street Fire Hall. Oh, I see, okay, great. So when they moved in here, they had two teams of horses. Great. Okay, well, thanks a lot for the tour. You're welcome. I wish you guys the best. Uh, by the way, Simon, wasn't this fire hall also used in that movie Roxanne? That's right. With Steve Martin and Daryl Hannah? 
Yes, it was. And I tell you what, if you just go outside this door, you go through the main entrance into the fire hall, there's a whole pictorial of Steve Martin and Daryl Hannah right in the base of the staircase. Okay, well, thanks a lot for taking the time for the tour. Well, thanks for coming. I, what a great turnout for your event, eh? It was fantastic. We're so happy that so many kids from the city and their parents came to enjoy and celebrate the uh, 100th anniversary of this fantastic old fire station. Uh, yeah, I'm always been fascinated by fire trucks myself. Kids just love them, don't they? Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's something about the uh, the bigness and the redness and the excitement of the bells and the lights. And, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's great. Really, really want to thank the city of Nelson. Yes, we should. Okay, I'm going to wander around. Thanks a lot for taking okay. the time, Simon. Okay, enjoy. Bye bye. Don't forget a hamburger. As Simon was mentioning. The Nelson Fire Hall played a significant role in the movie Roxanne, which starred Steve Martin and Daryl Hannah. Is that fun, John? Yeah! 